Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. I'm going to try to put together a quick shelter. I got a 9 by 10 foot tarp. This is the one that I carry in my um, survival belt. So I'm going to put a stake in the corner, the back corner over here. I'm going to put one in the other back corner. To where the where it meets the center. And I'll bring the other front corner over to where it meets the center. And I'll put all three tie downs through a with one stake. Get them through here. taut. Okay, now that's the basic shape for a shelter right there. I'm going to go for a stick about, I'm thinking about nose, nose high, maybe teeth high. Then I'm going to put a towel on top of it so I don't hurt the tent or the tarp. So if everything works right, it should be just about like that. So that's, that's too high. It needs to be right about here. See, if you know what you're doing and you practice this at home, you'll know how big a stick to cut before you go. So right as soon as you needed it, you'd know right to go to the woods to get the right size. This is still too high. This side's up in the air. A little bit too high, too long.
So something like that. Um, and then I take the other stakes and I put one in the middle on both sides. Again, if you're familiar with this, you've done it a few times in your yard, and then the top thing in your pack should be your tarp. This is a shelter here that doesn't need any any cordage, and then you have your your door here with the center the center tie out. And then that, you can put a string on that and run that over here like this and then run the string down around your stake from the inside or put another stake inside if you want. And then it's actually, it's actually sealed up from the wind. I'd also make my other tarp over in the, the other corner over there tight and I would have, uh, usually carry in my bug out bag, I have a nice set of anodized aluminum uh, stakes that you can drive in real nice that are real solid. These little wire ones aren't the best, but they should be okay. Now, if that doesn't have a floor in it, what it has, for the, what I would do then is I would. You know, say you got a big thunderstorm or something coming at you. I would take out my survival blanket and I just put my survival blanket here on the floor. And then I'd lay on that and I'd put my, my gear on the survival blanket in the corner because water is going to penetrate underneath the, the tarp in the big rain if it was on, you're on a slightly hill or something like that or wherever you're at. But if you had your space blanket inside, then you'd have a nice dry surface to lay on and put your gear on. And again, if you knew what you were doing and you were practiced with your tarp, I've got a, a tarp in my other bag that it it uh, takes about maybe two or three minutes to put up a shelter like this in a pinch. And you're, you're always going to have, you know, five minutes or more. You see a big storm coming, you're going to hear some thunder and lightning and some wind and stuff. So, you know, just say, hey, I'm going to stop here, find a clearing, and put up a little shelter like this. And as long as it's anchored real good on the sides, at one, two, three, four, five points, it's pretty, it's pretty good in a wind. And as long as you have the right size pole on it to keep everything tight, it's, it's actually quite a good shelter. It'll take... It'll, it'll stand up to 20 mile an hour winds, no problem, like, a, like in a thunderstorm or something like that. Um, but it's a, it, this, is a, this is a good viable shelter. I've got another one that has an open door with a, a, a tent stake in the front, but then you need to have a guy wire coming out and you can't really close the door on it. This one here, at least it was really blowing and really raining hard. You could, because you have your your door here that you go in. Again, you just fold that down to the side like that, and then tie it off to the stake from the inside. And then you're 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 sealed in nice. 
and you won't get all wet. And again, here in the Philippines, I really don't even care about getting wet, but I don't want my gear to get wet. And you know, if I was back in Iowa in late October or something like that, up in the mountains, the hills somewhere, you know, you don't want to get soaking wet because, you know, <laughs> you, 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 then you get cold. You, you get cold down to the bone and you have a chance of hypothermia and you might be somewhere where you're not, it's bad enough weather, you're not going to get back to your car or get out. You might have to stay there and you don't want to be all wet. So, just my opinion. I had this little tarp here. This, this one turned out to be a little miniature tarp. Um, basically worthless to me. But... But this, this one here was pretty nice. This was this was about eighteen dollars, and with shipping and stuff. And it was supposed to be a three hundred by three hundred centimeter, but it turns out to be ten foot by nine foot. Three hundred centimeters is ten foot, be ten by ten. But it, it's pretty close. Uh, I like I actually like the rectangular tarps for the other type of shelter with the open front on it. But for this closed one, a square tarp works better. But it doesn't really matter though. You can see it's up and it's, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And again, you, you take a couple, take a shirt or something out of your pack, put it on top of your stick. I just brought a towel off from the house, but, um, and then I needed, I needed a, a stick about, that's where I'm right here, about collarbone high on me. So, but all you do is you get your, you put your, your corners in, your back corners in, bring your front corners to the center, don't hook up the center tie out, which I, I told you wrong in the beginning, and then walk over to the center of the, the tarp, pick up the center, pinch it, pull it up, and right here, this one here comes up to about here, then that'll tell you how long your stick is you're gonna need. But again, if you do this a few times in your yard, you already know you need to go out in the woods and cut yourself uh, a chin high uh, stick, you know. And again, all that sh you should be able to do all that in five minutes, easy. And get it set up, un unfold a space blanket for the ground to lay on. That way you're laying on dry ground and uh, or sitting, whatever you want to do. And I think you got I think you got a halfway decent little shelter there. Give it a try once in your backyard. You guys all got a tarp. You know, let's give it a try. I, in fact, back home what I would have done is I probably would have went out to Lowe's and I probably would have bought a 9x9 nine nine painter's tarp or something like that, just a cheapo tarp. And, and I probably would have bought a 9x12 tarp also. And then I'd just be out in the backyard practicing, doing different, different setups until I found one I like. This is the one I like right here. This is the one here that I feel is good for a storm, a good hard rain. Um, next time, next time we get some, we had nice clear weather for a week now, in at the end of December. So if we get some more rain coming here, I'll come out if I can just before the rain. I'll set this up, the same thing here, and I'll show you what it's like in a pouring rain. And when it rains here, if it rains hard, it rains really hard. Let me tell you. So I'll just give you an example. Take care, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. No more. Go out, have some fun. Watch your six really close. Be aware of what's going on all around you in these times, these crazy times. And uh, just be safe, guys. Now, I just set this up. This video is probably going to be 20 minutes long, but I had to stop and get a stick because this is the first time I use this tarp. I set it up. I tried about four different times with different kind of configurations. I kept running into cement here and running into the weeds. So, I I just played it by ear. Now, you look at me right now. I, I'm 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 actually I'm I'm completely soaked. My shorts aren't completely soaked yet, but my shirt's just dripping, and I'm just you know just, look, just pouring water off me. But again, it's four o'clock in the afternoon here. The sun's actually on the other side of the trees by the clouds, but it's still about 90 degrees here. And 100% humidity or 95% humidity, something like that. I, I'm just, I'm hot. I'm downright hot. So, and, uh, but it, you have to practice at home. 
with all your gear. Make sure you know all your gear forwards and backwards. So you could do this in the dark if you had to, if you got stranded somewhere or whatever. This is at least a good quick shelter. Myself, I don't want to sleep on the ground. <laughs> I, I bring a hammock with me everywhere I go, and then I would put this, I would put this uh, 9 by 10 tarp diagonal on a ridge line over the top of my hammock, and I would feel pretty good. And I'd have it real close to the hammock. I'd probably have it about a foot above the hammock so that the, the, the hard rains wouldn't come underneath me and get it. If it was clear out or whatever, I'd put it up four foot above my, my hammock so I had a lot of air. But uh, it's 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 wicked camping here, though. It's just it's just again, you just get your camp all set up. You're just like this, right? Like I'm right now. You're just absolutely drenched, and it's just it's just tough. So take care, everybody.